Welcome to Acoustascape. This video will walk you through the four steps to get your AS41 Hi-Fi Landscape audio system going. These steps include preparation, layout, connection, and testing. Inside of your Acoustascape AS41 system box, you'll find four mounting stakes, 12 silicon-filled wired nuts, four satellite speakers, an in-ground subwoofer, and the installation manual, which you can refer to at any time for assistance. Here are the additional tools you'll need for a smooth and simple install. Wire strippers, 14-4 direct burial wire, wire ties, a gardening shovel, an optional mallet, and a cable stripper is also optional, but recommended. Layout. First, begin by placing the satellites around the perimeter in your desired listening areas. The satellite should be planted about 6 to 8 feet or 1.8 to 2 meters apart from one another. For the best listening experience, place the subwoofer as close to the center of the satellite speakers as possible. The Acoustascape AS41 system includes four satellites, but you can expand to a total of eight in one system with the AS4 SAT speaker expansion packs. This will allow for perfectly even sound coverage in areas of up to 2,500 square feet. First, dig a four to five inch or 10 to 13 centimeter trench along the perimeter for running the speaker wires. Next, dig a hole for the subwoofer leaving approximately six inches, or 15 centimeters, between the bottom of the mushroom cap and the ground. Please note that you will not bury the sub at this time, as you will need to test the system first. Now you are ready to run your 14-4 direct burial wire based on the layout of your system. Starting from the furthest speaker placement, run the wire to a location where you can connect the feed to your amplifier or receiver. Leave the wire attached to the spool until the last speaker has been connected. Wire installation. Start by creating a six inch or 15 centimeter loop of wire. Use the wire cutters to slice an opening at each end of the loop. Carefully, using a knife or cable strippers, slice between the two openings and remove the cable jacket to expose the conductors and separate the wires. We will use the red, positive and black negative wires for the right channel and the white positive and green negative wires for the left channel. Start by cutting the red and black wires in the middle of the loop. Next, use the wire strippers to remove approximately one inch or 25 millimeters of insulation to expose the copper wire. Twist the exposed copper wire conductor together to keep the wire from fraying. Partner the red conductor for the 14-4 cable to the red conductor for the satellite speaker. Evenly line up the wire jackets, checking to make sure the exposed copper is about the same length before twisting the three wires together. This will ensure a stable connection when the wire nut has been twisted in a clockwise motion. Wrap the connection point between the wire and the wire nut with electrical tape. Once finished, group the wires together and secure them with a wire tie to relieve any strain. Repeat these steps for the left channel. Remember, white is positive and will be connected to the red wire on the end of the speaker. The green wire is negative, so it will be connected to the black negative wire at the end of the speaker. Wiring the subwoofer. When it comes to wiring the subwoofer, you will notice that the subwoofer has a four conductor wire and will connect to both the left and right channels of your receiver or amplifier. To connect the subwoofer, just repeat the same process as you did with the satellites, matching the four wires color for color. You can always refer to the manual if you need additional instructions. Testing the system. After you have wired your system together, go ahead and test it by playing your favorite music at a moderate level. If everything sounds good, you can now bury the subwoofer in its hole and the wires in the trench. Your installation is now complete. Enjoy the sound of paradise year round. For more information, please visit www.acoustiscape.com.